in honour of you and your spray tans, yeah. we've, we've got a special guest in a guy called Nathan Wyburn who was on Britain's Got Talent. And what he does is he made, if you remember, he made um, portraits out of Marmite on Toast. He did Simon Cowell out of Marmite on Toast, did, didn't he? Did, I and remember Mark that. And he's even done, I think, um, William and Kate as well. He did a big thing with William and Kate, don't know, they kissed on the balcony. But what we've done, we've asked him especially to come in and make a portrait of you, Hayley, out of spray tan. <laughs> How about that? And, Lisa, and Lisa went over chat with him while he was doing it. Have a look at oh this. Oh my God. And welcome to the Welsh Show. Thank you. Thanks ever so much for uh, agreeing to do this for us. Of course, you're best known probably for your uh, you Marmite picture of uh, of Simon Cowell. That's it. Yeah. Why did you choose to uh, to do him in Marmite? Um, I originally read in the newspaper that you either love or hate him, so I instantly thought of Marmite, and then thought, why not put Marmite on toast and make his portrait, and then everything else kind of spiralled from there. Then. Brilliant. Well, look, I'll let you get started. Cool. Of course. And so, did you consider any other? Um, any other materials other than self-tan for doing Hayley? Yeah, um, I thought maybe, um, obviously she's famous for being a tea lady, and maybe um, sort of tea stains or coffee stains, um, just thick, loopy, you know, you get like, the stains of the coffee room off the, the mugs and different things like that. So that could have been quite an interesting one. And how easy does it dry? Because I'm thinking, you know, as it, you're saying, it's not paint, it's not designed to sort of dry like paint. Do you have to dry out the hair dryer or leave it for a while? Um, if it, it normally dries on its own after a few days, mm -hmm. um, but you can't speed it up with a hair dryer. If it's only very careful, you don't sort of put it on too powerful and just blow the lumps. And <laughs> so, what do what do your family think about uh, about what you do? Um, originally, when I first did the Simon Cowell portrait, my, my mother came into my bedroom and was like, "What on earth have you done here?" And I also play off the fact that my mother told me not to play with my food when I was younger. I was a very fussy eater, and now I'm sort of well known for food artwork and unusual stuff. So, but they're, they're very proud that I sort of do everything just to hear them say how proud they are. Sort of makes everything worthwhile. It's, they, their support is fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah, I would say you're probably the only food artist to come out of Ebervale. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> and all the local sort of newspapers and the people are very supportive of everything so those people say that I'm some sort of inspiration and it's just very strange to hear that and it's just sort of what well, Valley's probably doing more I do. Did um, uh, Kate and Wills on the balcony with their famous kiss? That's it yeah commissioned by Hobbits that one was outside uh, the London Bridge. Okay. So that was quite a, I think that was 400 slices of toast on a February morning at about 4am absolutely freezing cold. Wow. Painting with toast and marmite so that's where I've got myself into it's just a little bit crazy. But it's quite nice that you'll be actually being commissioned by, by big companies like Hovis to, you know, to do what you love. Say so you're an artist actually making a living at what you're doing. Yeah, and a lot of people, that obviously it's graduated last year, a lot of people said to me it's very rare that an artist gets to do that so early in their career. So I'm pretty chuffed with that, but just having a great time at the same time, you know. And you were, um, you've got quite a lot of coverage as well for when the kind of phone hacking scandals at its height. Um, you did a portrait of Murdoch using faces of the people who have been, have been hacked, is that right? That's right, yeah. Um, I think it was 5,000 repeated newsprint images of 26 different people to do with the phone hack scandal. You had people um, like J.K. Rowling and Tony Blair, Kate and Will, um, Katie Price, Peter Andre, so all, this, all different variations of celebrities and public figures, which I eventually made up from Murdoch's portrait, which is about 10 foot tall and that got front page of Newspaper. Oh, fabulous. So, you know, that was probably my favourite achievement ever, just to walk into the shop and see that on the front page. So thrilled with it. That is extraordinary. I mean, the vast majority of artists will work their entire life and never have that kind of exposure. Yeah. What, what is your favourite piece of art? I mean, that's quite an unfair thing to ask you, but, <laughs> but you know, if I, if I kind of forced you to choose a favourite piece of artwork, what would it be? It might be still the original Simon Cowell with Marmite mainly because that kind of started everything off for me. Yeah. Or maybe also that would be the off one, but I've also recently made a portrait of Alan Carr using breakfast cereal, which he asked for via, via Twitter, and no. that was such a fun one to do as well, so. And what, what sort of cereal did you use? Um, Cheerios, um, Cocoa Pops, Rice Krispies, all, the, all brown, all different sorts of things. So. Did you get to meet Alan Carr today? I haven't yet. I only sent the print to him last week, so I, d I did the time lapse of it. So hopefully, he'll get me on a show at some point, or at least tweet it out or whatnot. So it should be fun. I tell you what, that is fantastic. Thank you. I'm very proud <laughs> that you are. You know, you're doing incredibly well. You're a great artist. Thank you. 
You're from Wales and yep. you're making a living at it. Yep. Brilliant. Just hope it all carries on. <laughs> Quite yeah. nice. Too. Yeah. I really, I, and I tell you what, I can't wait for Hayden to see this. Oh, I'd like to see it. Really good. That looks amazing. It is incredible. I thought it would be fair, actually, that Nathan should uh, present you with your portrait yourself. So, Nathan, oh, come on, have a look. Are you, you can be honest. Tell us what you really think, Hayley. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Wow. Oh. It's super That's amazing. That's Hayley, tea lady, is in where? fake tan. Yes. Yeah, don't <gasps> that is amazing. So, it'll take a few days That's to dry. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. So, just be careful with it. Oh, That's Hayley. awesome. I'm fake tan as well. <laughs> <laughs> thank Hayley, you, welcome. Nathan. Thank you oh so God, much for joining us on the Welsh Show. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's been really great fun. Thank you. Well, that's just